Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. So today we'll start off with uh, deploying our front end application on Netlify. So we'll set up the entire CI CD pipeline uh, using which whatever commits you made make from your local will get reflected directly in the production. So let's get started with it. So I've created a simple documentation which you can follow. And using this documentation, you'll be able to set up your entire uh, CI CD using Netlify. So step one is to create a pi private repository. So I'm using GitLab. You can use uh, GitHub or any other uh, Git provider. So I have set up my private repository in uh, uh, in GitLab. And the second step would be to create a React app and then uh, do an NPM run build. So I have already created my React app to save some time. And here I have uh, ran NPM run build previously. And using that, there's a build folder that's, that gets created uh, at the root of this application. So for now, we keep this build folder handy as this will help us um, uh, deploy our website on Netlify. So um, that's the next step to create a React app. And we have to create a build folder in the root directory and then we'll keep that handy. So you can create the build folder using a simple command npm run build and that will create it for you. Next, uh, what I have also done is I have committed my um, application onto GitLab. So as you can see, it's present over here. Now we shall move forward with the CICD part. So we need to head to GitLab, CICD, uh, and then go to editor and then configure pipeline and then paste the YAML code and commit those changes. I'm sorry, paste the um, YAML code and commit those changes. So I have the YAML code with me. I'll share it along with uh, this YouTube video. So we have to go to CICD in, uh, uh, on GitLab. Then we have to go to pipelines. I'm sorry, go to editor. And then from editor, we'll go to configure pipeline. And then here is the initial YAML script that gets generated with three stages, build, test, and deploy. Uh, and each each stage has its own uh, jobs, build job, test job, and deploy job. Now, right now, it's just printing echo statements. So we'll configure this up. I have already worked on that. So here is uh, the working uh, repository. So we'll just copy this and paste it here. I shall share this code as well. So let me just quickly go through what's happening here. So node latest image will be uh, considered by the CICD pipeline. It will download that image and there's only one stage. The, the only stage is deploy stage. Now, previously there was build, test and deploy. So build stage and uh, deploy stage are one and the same in case of React frontend, NPM run build. It manages both and testing is uh, you know, it depends from business to business. If you need to do testing of your front end application, you can do so. Uh, a just just framework. Uh, let me put here. So G A E S T. Just framework is very popular for uh, front end uh, front end testing, unit testing. So that's again business need. So this is what we will require at the moment, and it has a script which will um, basically we'll get into the our application. So in our case, it's not test app CICD. It is. Let me just quickly check what is our what directory we need to get into. We need to get into yt hyphen app. So let me change that yt hyphen app. You can do yours according to what's your name, and then we'll install legacy peer devs. This will make sure that uh, there's there's no compatibility issues. Then we'll net, uh, install Netlify CLI npm run build. And then Netlify deploy will basically take our run and build and put it onto Netlify, which will handle the entire CSAD process. So there's auth token and site ID prod. These are the variables that we need to add in GitLab. We'll proceed with that. And we only want the CSAD to be triggered when we are committing to the main branch. So that's why the only tag comes into picture. So I will commit these changes. Whilst this is committing, let me quickly go through what's going to be next. So we'll commit our changes. Now it's time to head to Netlify.com and then we'll head to sites and then we will add a new site. And this time we're going to deploy this manually. So 
to set up the csd process initially you will have to do this manually and then we will drag and drop our build folder which uh, which we had generated in step 1 so let's head back to our um pipeline so as you can see the pipeline already started running so if i head back to the repository you can see there should be a pipeline running yeah there it is here it shows that the pipeline is running it should fail now because i haven't created any variables and um, there's still uh, the initial setup that we need to do so let me head to netify.com and here you can uh, lo log in with your gitlab github you can authenticate with whatever provider you wish to do and then we have to this will be the initial dashboard we'll go to add new site and deploy manually and then it says clearly here drag and drop we will drag and drop our um, uh, we'll drag and drop this build folder so let me go and check out where my build folder is and i have it right here with me i'll hit back and i'll quickly drag and drop it here so it's a pretty fast process we'll drag and drop it here it will um, and it will initialize and um, follow all these steps and then if we open production deploy yeah see so this this react app is opened on our local machine local host and this is opened in production so that's the beauty of netlify it's in the production so if i head back to our uh, normal react our uh, react app and maybe in app.js i would like to make a small change i'll say that within header itself let's put an h1 tag saying hey okay. all right and then let's save this so we've uh, made a change and uh, yeah well it says logo is defined but never used we'll remove unused imports we'll save it yeah compilation successful and there are no warnings so if i head back to my app this react app which is open now is uh, from netlify's production whereas this react app is from our local now when i talk about ci cd what i mean to say is whatever commits we make locally here it should directly get uh, affected in our uh, production so that's what we're trying to aim for so it it happens in our local well and good but we need it in the production so let's move forward with what's the next step and then um, so we proceeded with this step drag and dropped it netlify automatically builds it and you can view it and then um, sorry site spelling is wrong yeah and then here is your shareable website link so if i share this li uh, link with anyone family friends whoever they can view this website so so that's that's also an amazing part and uh, let's head back to this now we now uh, we need to set up the variables i was talking about in our gitlab so we have to head to our profile on netlify applications oauth and we need a personal access token and we need to copy it so let's quickly do that we need to head back to and applications yeah so netlify this is the recent deployment profile user settings and then uh, general applications here it is oauth here it is so what we need to do is we need to create a personal access token here so this access token we'll feed it to gitlab over here we'll, these two are same so i'll close this and here we have to open your gitlab go to settings and then we'll head to ci cd so here we have our variables so in these variables we'll uh, add the required variables so let me check out what's in our pre what i did in my previous repository i had went to variables and then so the first variable we need is auth token so key would be auth token and we'll receive our value so we'll create a new access token and we'll call uh, we'll call this token auth token uh, for uh, for gitlab something like that generate token and we'll copy this and then we'll paste it 
left right here and we'll add that variable so the first variable is added now just click on done that's done over here so from netlify part uh, i think we're good to go so we just finished this and then we need um, auth token and the second variable we need is site id so again for site id we need to head back to our sites this is the most recent site i uh, developed i have done so many and uh, four minutes ago this is the latest one so i'll go there i'll head to so this is where you can see uh, information about the site that's just deployed i'll head to site settings and then here we'll receive site id copy this it comes under the general category and we'll have to add a new variable and we'll call this variable what did i call it previously site id prod there we go so site id prod and then add that variable as well now we have two variables auth token site id prod so that's awesome so we have added them in the variable section in ci cd now uh, what we need to do is we need to run the pipeline. So this should complete the whole thing. Now, if you remember about three, four minutes ago, I had made a commit um, and changed this to hey. Now I change it to hey. How are you? I'll save this. And this change is obviously in my local at the moment. And we need that in our production. So I have made these changes. I'll stop this server for now. Because I've stopped the server, I will close this local host. And then let me commit this quickly. Git status. Yeah, I made some changes. Git add. Hey message. Git push. OK, so I need to pull first. So what basically happened here is um, from the front from GitLab, I actually created the YAML script. I had to pull that into my uh, local, so I just pulled it and now get push. So now it should work. Awesome, it worked. So let me head back to our repository. I have just made a commit calling it hey message. And as you can see here, our pipeline is pending, so it should quickly start up. So to check it out, we can head to CICD pipeline or you know click it right there. So it says it's running. So let's see. This is my stage. And let's hope it works. So now what should happen here is it should install the latest node image and Netlify CLI and whatever script that I had mentioned in the uh, YAML, script, YAML file. And then it should get reflected in our production uh, website. So let's see how if this works out or no. So another cool thing till this happens, let's do another interesting thing so here is our website oh i just opened it again my bad um so i'll head to the there's a feature here where i will be able to change the name of my website site overview maybe domain settings here options edit site name awesome i'll say this youtube test app and then save it yeah that's a Nice name. So what's the status with this? OK, this is taking its sweet time. So. OK, so in the end, we received the job succeeded uh, message from the pipeline logs. So that's good news. And it also says that the pipeline has succeeded. So when I go back to my repository, it will show a green tick, which is obviously the good news. And if I head back to the application, oh, this is with the old site ID name. So I'll close this and here is our site. And then launch it again. And here we can see that the changes are successful. So that's how we set up the entire CI CD flow. Now locally, if I make some commit, uh, if I uh, make some change locally, 
on uh, on uh, netleap on react and then if i commit that uh, on the main branch on gitlab then that then the pipeline will get triggered again and then the latest feature whatever you add will get reflected uh, on your application so this is about ci cd uh, and connecting it with a private repository uh, thank you and have a nice day